What's up guys, my name is Kapi and welcome to another episode of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. We are currently headed to save the Philosopher's Stone. Which these guys think we are saving it from Snape, but we are going to find out the true culprit in a while. This way, Harry. I think this is where the growling has been coming from. Hear that? Oh, I don't think we should go in there. Well, I agree with you, Ron. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Very convenient in it for you guys to be right behind me. Only Hagrid can call this monster Fluffy. What about the flute? That might put Fluffy to sleep for a while. Do be careful. What the hell? You want to go first, Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay! It's a soft landing! You can jump! Come on, Harry. Devil snare. I know what this is. It's a devil's snare. Next time I'm going to pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Like a lot of work. Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. Catch the winged key. Well, this is a job for a seeker. You have to catch the key, Harry. Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Up. <laughs> Good luck, Harry. Okay, I can't see it anywhere. 
And here it goes. And we got it. Well done, Harry. Let's see where this leads. Phew. The chest border. Huh? The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Oh, Ron, are you all right? I've defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have well, to make the pieces fight each this? other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. Uh -oh. I have to move in such a way that these pieces are forced to fight with each other. I don't know how that's going to happen. move here these two will fight with each other right here two more pairs to go maybe here I think it should be done now I think I've got it. Yep. We did it! Come on, let's go! Magical fire. Uh oh. Looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. What? This one looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. Uh -oh. I know it's this one, yes. again okay it's the first one on this side it's even faster this time The last one, yep, I'm pretty sure. Flipendo. Flipendo. How many times? That's really confusing. Okay, it's the first one again. A 
again, seriously? Now, that's ridiculous. Okay, that was too much to catch up with, but I think it's this one. Well done, Harry. You picked the right one. Snape on your own. I'll go back and help Ron. Good luck, Harry. Well, thank you, Hermione. I actually desperately need frogs right now. Phew. Thank God. But we are still not on full health. But I can make do of this, I guess. And it's quitted. Finally we found out. Oh, that's a long jump. be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Stop Professor stuttering Quirrell. now, huh? You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Uh -oh. I'm supposed to make stairs out of these to get up there. It's actually amusing that a first year student can fight off a professor who is also Voldemort. You will not succeed again. Where are you going? Uh oh. Okay, full health. What is the middle of Edison doing here? The Philosopher's Stone, guys. Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, you have a nose. <laughs> Voldemort has a nose right here. Slip 
Okay, did I get it? No, I didn't. What the hell? Okay. It's not at the current angle right now. Now we got But we are on very low health guys. I don't think we'll be able to do it in this one. No, I have you. not get hurt even once in the first phase of this face off. Is he there yet? Yep. And over the stone. I don't think so. Time, guys, one more time. Come on, come on, come on, hit me, hit me, hit me. Yes, yes, we did it.
Really, Dumbledore, really, you were right there, but you didn't come to help. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin. Well, that's going to change, cup. right? When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional point had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight. <sighs> okay guys, this brings an end to another series, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. If you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe and also let me know what other series you want me to play next. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Take care. Ooh, are we about to find out what those beans were for? Honestly, these two... <laughs>